Today I'm going to tie up a, uh, a sulfur dry fly. It's getting that time of year and um, it's, it's one of the first very good hatches, uh, mayfly hatches on the Pier Marquette and surrounding streams and uh, the trout seem to love it. So just quick easy sulfur pattern. I've got a Dairiki number 300 size 16 hook and I've I'm using a, uh, oh, it is a 70 gel spun thread, really strong, thin diameter. Uh, first, I've got the uh, shank dress. I'm going to tie in just a couple little pieces of some parapost material for a trailing shuck. Those in, just clip those kind of short can always cut those off in the river too if for whatever reason the fish don't like it but next for the body I'm going to tie in um, a turkey by it so it's a quill body and I'm going to take that I don't know if you can see it but it's just just one quill of the feather and then I'm going to tie that in tip first to build the body up. I'm going to bring the thread back up to about, um, oh, maybe a third of the shank. So all I'm going to do is palmer this by it, build the body up. See, I'm wrapping it and just kind of pinching it with my back finger to keep it in place. Once I get that done, I'm going to clip that off. And I'm going to tie in a piece of foam for the parachute post. I like using foam. It's durable, it's visible, um, easy to work with. Kind of get that situated. Next I'm going to tie in my hackle. And for this I'm using just kind of like a a dun color, like a brownish dun. Give that a couple wraps in front and behind the post. Now the next step I'm going to do, I'm going to tie in just a very sparse amount of SLF prism dubbing in cream color just a little bit to stay underneath the, uh, the post and just give the fly a little thorax and a little try to get the fish's attention a little bit. So I spun that on. I'm just going to dub this on. I'm going to palmer the hackle around the post. Yeah, just Probably two or three wraps is all you need. I'm trying to get underneath the each layer. I'm going to pull all this back. finish the fly. Pull the hackle back for a minute, give it a little whip finish. Now I'm going to cut the post down. You want to cut it pretty low so your fly is not top heavy but not too low so your hackle becomes undone. Plus that's a great 
hopefully you can see that pretty well. Try to zoom in a little bit. I'm just turning the fly to give you a total perspective of the fly. Anyways, that's it. Quill body sulfur. Fish are starting to look up and uh, can't wait to do some dry fly fishing. Thank you.